Okay, friends, staying due to the travel bug, we are headed to Ireland to visit some of our favorite filming locations, and some of them may surprise you. Inconceivable! You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Ireland's breathtaking landscapes serve as the perfect backdrop for many of our favorite films, and today we're starting with the Cliffs of Moher. The Cliffs of Moher are located at the southwestern edge of County Clare. We arrive at the visitor center, and it reminds us of a hobbit house built into the hills. It's a great place to start and get information about the cliffs and the surrounding area. The cliffs are one of Ireland's number one tourist attractions and are spectacular. There's no wonder these stunners show up in the wizarding world. But my family is most familiar with them for a different movie. These are the Cliffs of Moher, also known as the Cliffs of Insanity from The Princess Bride. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoever he is, he's too late. See? The Cliffs of Insanity! Next, we're headed to the opposite side of the aisle to a different shoreline, Curaclo Beach. Saving Private Ryan's iconic Omaha Beach scene was filmed right here on this beautiful stretch of soft sand. With the ocean on one side and massive sand dunes on the other, playing here with my boys, it's hard to imagine this paradise as the filming location for the largest seaborne invasion, the invasion of Normandy. And a nearby restaurant took its name as a nod of the making of the movie. Steven Spielberg chose Kiriklo Beach for logistical and moral reasons. Next, we're headed over to Dublin, Ireland, and to one of the busiest pedestrian streets, Grafton. This is one of Europe's best shopping streets. Here is where a vacuum repairman moonlights as a street musician. This indie love story produced an Academy Award-winning original song, the movie is once. Walking down Grafton Street, you feel like you're in the movie. This car-free street is full of shops and cafes with wonderful live musical performances to the lucky passerbyers. <laughs> Now, sadly, we did miss a few big ones we set out to explore. In P.S. I Love You, Jerry and Holly first meet at the Sally Gap, which looks spectacular in the movie. We got there at sunset and there wasn't enough time to explore. Far and Away has beautiful vistas. Funny, we only got to see the scene that was supposed to be Boston in the United States. It's the alleyway behind the Guinness factory. And one of the most sought after filming locations in Ireland, and the hardest to get to, is Skelling Island. In fact, only 180 people per day are allowed to step foot on the island. You have to book your ticket way in advance, tours are often canceled for bad boating conditions, and you can't go with young kids, wah, wah, under 12. Too many steps in rough waters. This island was in Star Wars A Force Awakens. Today we're heading to Cary Cliffs on the Ring of Cary to get a view from land. Walking to the cliffs, we did find replicas of the beehive villages used as habitation in the Middle Ages and found on Skelling Island. Let my Jedi training begin. <laughs> the cliff views are spectacular. And see that island way out there? That's the iconic filming location. And that little one over there? That is Lemon Rock, where, with the help of special effects, Dumbledore stands in front of the Cliffs of Moher. And as Dumbledore said, this is the place. Oh yes, this place has known magic. There is no doubt in my mind where this family will be celebrating Little Guy's 12th birthday. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.